Hi, my name is Justin Dira, and you tuned in for a brand new episode of Hi-Fi's Cancelled Misfits. All right, so for today, we have the sitcom Outsource for you today. This was a story about an American businessman who's just been given the opportunity to become manager of his call center he works for. The only catch to this is, to get the job, he would have to relocate himself to India to help train the Indian call center. The show's cast is another one of those kind of big ensemble kind of casts. Some of the leading roles in this is Ben Rappaport, Diedrich Batter, and Rizwan Manji. Uh, really, the leading role, you know, I wasn't really terribly impressed with him at all, really. Nothing really made him pop for me in that role. But uh, I've seen uh, Dietrich is better, um, and actually uh, Rizwan Manji in a bunch of different things, and they are always great, and particularly great in these roles. Very funny, and I really actually thought they were some of the better standard roles in this uh, in the entire series, really. But um, as for some uh, other highlights, other than obviously the cast I just mentioned, um, I just thought this was a great kind of fish out of water kind of story a lo- of how um, it's kind of this fun cultural experience. Plus the show just had just tons of great humor in it. So for ratings of the show, the ratings did start up pretty strong with a uh, 3.6 and an average of... 700.49 million of viewers um, and an average of 7.49 million viewers. Oddly though, it still got canceled though, even though with only a like slight drop to about 2.8 and averaging 4.55 million by the end of its series. Now moving on to the review of the show, I can definitely tell you just from looking at, at some of these reviews that obviously the show was much more beloved by fans of the show than it was the critics because critics actually um, were pretty harsh on the show. It only scored 45 on Metacritic and a lot of them seemed to want to say that the show seemed kind of insensitive and racist towards like Indian culture. I didn't really see that at all. I thought they were quite respectful of the culture were trying to enlighten people more about Indian culture than they were trying to make fun of it. But sure. Final thoughts on this. I actually thought the bigger issue, more so than the you know, co- uh, the uh, cultural inappropriate content on the show, I think what really kind of killed it for the show was how that they poked fun at a very sensitive issue on the show, which was, you know, job outsourcing. And the show did take place kind of towards the end of like a recession. We're kind of on the mends by then, but still, it's a, so, a very sore topic, obviously, for Americans. You know, he elected a president mostly on the premise of the fact that he's going to help bring back more jobs and do less outsourcing. So, you know, I could see how a lot of Americans out there would probably be very sore about them making fun of how, like, many jobs get outsourced, especially, you know, call centers do. And I just think it was a show that was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. But, you know, I really kind of hope that it could still find an audience because it is a great show. Hopefully there's somewhere out there where you can maybe still find it or even the movie, actually, that was originally based off of. Maybe you have fun with watching, too. Um, But, yeah, I just think it's uh, unfortunate that kind of just took place at the wrong time. And um, that's going to be it for um, this episode, though, I think. Uh, of course, like to thank you all for tuning in. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out some of the other content on this channel, such as uh, the High Five Pop me and brother do on Tuesdays. And on Wednesday, we have uh, my show of canceled TV shows called Canceled Misfits. Um, also, if you'd like to help support this channel, be sure to also check out the Patreon link. We have in the links below. But uh, yep, that's it for me today. Thank you and goodbye.